Green Zone, an area whose gates have been bolted shut since it was declared off limits in 2003, will now open up to the public. The plan came into effect just yesterday, one month after it was first announced by Prime Minister Abadi. In late August, the Premier ordered Special Operations Forces to conduct necessary arrangements to open the heavily fortified enclave to Iraqi citizens. The plan has been more than just words, as Mr Abadi has shown. He described it as one of the procedures we promised our people. For the first time in 12 years, ordinary Iraqis can now enter a site whose built landscape of state buildings and foreign embassies has long symbolised government corruption. The move has arisen against waves of nationwide demonstrations. For three months, people from across the capital and southern provinces stormed the streets to demand basic services and an end to a political system plagued by deceit and misconduct. Some analysts view Abadi's latest success as an effort to win over the hearts of his people, whose lives have been far removed from that of state officials, comfortably embedded in the heart of the capital. Scores of cars were welcomed by the Prime Minister into the Green Zone yesterday, but it remains unclear exactly who the state is allowing inside and the specific access it will grant to visitors. Six civilians have been killed and dozens more injured after government airstrikes struck western parts of Iraq late on Saturday, as medical sources confirmed. Fallujah, a city under attack since 2013, has lost many of its inhabitants in attacks similar to those that shook Sabanisan, Golan neighborhood and surrounding areas two days ago. The frequent bombardment of these places has given rise to much speculation as the fight against the Islamic State group edges closer to civilian populated areas. The government of Iraq views the western province of Anbar as a breeding ground for armed non-state actors, but images such as these live on to tell the story of civilian loss. Victims are often women and children and not insurgents. Their deaths reveal consistent patterns of government airstrikes on civilian populations. While ISIL fighters are said to be roaming Iraq's western territories, civilians are still paying the heaviest price. Medical sources from Fallujah's teaching hospital said that since the start of the war on the city, nearly 3,500 civilians have been killed and 5,500 have suffered injuries. But Saturday's tragedy was followed by good news. Images of a sole survivor whose entire family had been killed began to trend on social media yesterday. Islam Juma. The baby pictured here survived the attack, but remains in intensive care at the General Hospital in Fallujah, where he will be treated for severe burns.